Tony, it, it's really time. I want to revisit something you talked about, and I, I want to push you for both the positive aspects of the observation as well as the uh, challenges of the observation. So there's, there's a trial that Alliance has done called Cabo Sun. Um, the argument is that, well, we really don't have much in the way of upfront comparative data other than the old COMPARS trial, which was Votrian compared with Sunitinib. And here comes along a next generation TKI called Cabozantinib that has activity against other targets, Axel and MET. And we recognize that one, one mechanism or a mechanism of VEGF resistance is upregulation of MET. So they went head to head and they compared CABO to, to sunitinib. Um, and the sunitinib that they gave was traditional sunitinib, four and two. Whereas I would suggest that many of us don't do four and two very much anymore when we're giving sunitinib, although that is the dose and schedule that is FDA approved and serves as the control arm for many, many studies. Secondly, it was a investigator assessed response a, a trial. So there was not central review and their endpoints were the traditional endpoints. So for our audience, let's again review kind of the goals of the Cabo Sun data, the limitations of the Cabo Sun data, and what you think you would need to know if the Cabo Sun data resulted in a different TKI as an upfront treatment for metastatic kidney cancer? Yeah, great question, Bob. So just to remind you about the Cabo Sun uh, data. Uh, so this is a randomized phase two of 157 patients that compared the standard um, sunitinib at the regular uh, four two schedule, which is the schedule that all the ongoing and planned randomized phase three trial in the first line setting are still using in the absence of um, uh, you know, non-retrospective data versus a, versus cabuzen, cabuzentinib, which is another next generation, I don't know if call it second or third now, generation TKI, drug that target DEVAGF receptor, but also MET and Excel. Investigator assessment uh, response was the primary endpoint and was MET 8.2 versus 5.6 uh, months. And with a lot of cooperative group was limited, uh, I would say, uh, uh, funding, uh, you know, investigator assessed, res investigator assessed PFS and response was accepted. And uh, in a lot of situation, we, we go back and we do an independent review like we are going to do with uh, Cabo Sun. Uh, interesting enough uh, that things that came that doesn't need a center review is the overall survival. So the overall survival was not going in the wrong direction. Everything, even at a uh, median follow-up of 20 plus months, which is short on this trial, the overall survival, at least numerically, favored cabozentinib. And the side effect profile is another thing that you don't need center review for that were equivalent. Uh, so I think this data, despite being randomized phase two, is extremely exciting, and hopefully it will get more exciting when there's a center review and when there is more follow-up for uh, survival. Now, it does fit. This is a drug that was superior to uh, Iverolimus in the second-line setting. It's not a front... Uh, it's not a first-comer drug that out of nowhere was tested against sunitinib. This is a drug that has data in the second line, has very strong data post-sunitinib, PFS, you know, up to nine months, and has significant preclinical work a lot from Eric's lab that showed that really MET and Excel in, in uh, xenograft, my xenograft that develop resistance to sunitinib could reverse that resistance. So the whole story is there, but I do agree with you. It's one trial, it's randomized phase two, and uh, there will be a center review and survival. Like what happened with the Leventinib Everolimus study. It was initially reported as investigator assessed, and then later on the independent review happened and the data did, did hold. So I, think, so I think David, you know, I think that, that summary by Tony uh, puts us on alert for what may be a paradigm shift in what's available in the frontline setting with respect to TKIs.